Hello, this is Andrea from Spreadsheetables, and today I want to show you how to use the Product Description Generator version 2, okay? This is the second version. If you bought the previous version, you are getting an upgrade. It's free every time you buy a product. Uh, pro Every time you buy a product from Spreadsheetables, you get free updates for life. And that means that every time something changes or that I just, you know, just upgrade the version and make it better and uh, with the, you know, the layout more user friendly, uh, you will get a free update on that. Um, so this is version two of the product. If you had the previous one, you can just go ahead and download uh, using this new link that uh, I just sent you. Now, uh, the one thing that did change with OpenAI before, when I created the first version, they were giving $18 in free credit. Uh, and I think they just were trying to get people to try their tool um, and now it reduced. So currently, as of right now, we're in March um, 2023, they downgraded it to $2. I think they said 5 uh, but I'm pretty sure it's two. I think somebody else just uh, registered not long ago and they got only $2 for free. So either way, uh, the credits run really slow. So you might be able to, $2 is not going to last too long, uh, the, the the credit. But I mean, I got when I got my $18, that was early in February. So that lasts me a good month or two. Uh, and I used it to test the tool and fine tune everything. So just keep in mind that um, that they're not no longer giving the eighteen dollars. Okay. So first thing you're gonna do if you this is your first time downloading this and you're unfamiliar with OpenAI, OpenAI is the creator of uh, ChatGPT, which is the artificial intelligence bot that we everybody has been using lately, and it's amazing. And it creates the description for you, right? So, but it, but you have to feed with your information before it can give you the output, right? If you tell me, hey, I I made a bar soap, give me a description for that. It's going to give you a random general description that it's not going to be tailored to your product. So this is what this tool does, and um, you can use ChatGPT, you know, for free to. Uh, create your descriptions, but you're going to spend a lot of time, you know, just inputting other information, make sure ChatGPT understands everything. What this tool does, um, it basically, it already has, it, you're going to have all your information in here. You're going to put it once and then all, everything else is going to be generated based on your input. Uh, it basically it just saves you time. And you can just put a lot of your product description and sometimes you just change the color or you just change, you know, just a couple variables. So you already have all of your product information in here. And then you just change a few things here and there and then you have a whole different description. Um, all right. So if this is your first time, you click over here, open AI, um, open AI API key. You're going to get your API key. You're going, if this is your first time, you're going to be prompt to um, a sign up page. Just sign up with them and then you go to, you're going to click on your um, personal menu here and then you go, you're going to go to view API keys. And this is going to be this page. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to click create a new secret key. And you're just going to copy this and then click OK. Then you're going to come to your generator and then you're going to enter that right here. Just control V right here. That's it. So once you're done with that, you come to your generator and you're going to input. There's four places that you're going to input your information. So the orange one is the product technical details. So it's uh, the name, the materials, style, theme, format, patterns, ingredients. That will depend on what you're selling, right? Uh, so you are only gonna answer the the. You're gonna only gonna fill out this this boxes to whatever applies to your product. So if you are selling a bar soap, you're not going to fill out the flavor box, right? Because you're not eating soap. Hopefully. 
um but yeah so but just go if you know closure and linings this is not just gonna apply to bar soap so that's gonna be left to blank okay um and then you have your product details here other product details right here uh you know if it's something that you made specifically for christmas you're going to enter the christmas here or season if it's eco-friendly or not if you offer gift options or not and all these other if you have you know some care instructions for that if you're selling a t-shirt for example so just enter all the information here um the keywords if you um if you already have done your research and you know what keywords you're going to be targeting for this product go ahead and input them here uh, and you can do just you can sep start separate bait separated by either comma or you can just he um i think it's control yeah control enter uh that's gonna do a break a line break so it doesn't matter so keyword one and keyword two you can do it like that or you can do this keyword two whatever is easier for you okay that doesn't really matter the, how you how you put that in there and then the third part is the target audience so who is this product for and what is your audience struggling with and what problem will your product solve so this is a, a crucial part of every product description no matter what you're doing your product has to solve your audience problems right uh or make them feel pleasure right people buy off emotions so they're buying something because they want something in their life to change right um so you're gonna you're gonna identify that here and here you're there's three drop down boxes you're going to just select your writing style and i put a whole a whole entire list of the type of different styles depending on your writing style that you select your output your results are going to be different okay same thing with the tone of voice you can add some more friendly more professional conversational witty sarcastic playful you choose and you can play with this and see what kind of different results it will give you uh, so i have over here an example sheet that i'm going to use uh, just to copy and paste the information that uh to enter in the generator so i could show how it works so okay so i have that here and i'm going to leave the example sheet up so you can you know if you have any questions if you don't know what exactly you're looking at just come over here and you can have an idea and you're just gonna enter i'm just gonna enter this here um so this is hold on, let me just copy this this is my target out my target audience it's people who enjoy a relaxing and refreshing bath experience i'm selling um a bath set which is like sponges to uh, towels and a tray a bam bamboo eco-friendly train tray okay so that is my product and this is my audience so there my audience is struggling to find two things right to find time for self-care and relaxation due to a busy lifestyle and they're also struggling to find quality best products that are eco-friendly and ethically sourced uh, and then what problem will this solve the lack of access to high quality eco-friendly bath products and then uh for this what did i have here i'm just gonna copy this so i select a creative writing style and the conversational tone of voice and i'm going to be writing i always hit recommend for product um descriptions to write in the second person because you're talking to you know your audience as a second person so um there's check boxes in here you're going to select one at a time once you get this result you go to the next one if you're not happy with the results you can go ahead and change the writing style or the tone of voice and that will change your output so right now this is just my headline it's the first thing that the customer is going to see when they enter my product page and you want to grab their attention right there and then right so you have to focus on keywords you have to focus on their problem and you have to focus on um you know the the what your product is so here right off the bat this says rejuvenate and refresh with the ocean breeze best set 
eco-friendly natural sponges, organic cotton towels, and reusable bamboo tray. So that's that was what they were struggling with, right? So they're like, mm, okay, that's sort of, sort of my problem in there. Now let's see the rest. And then you go ahead and you click the product this product description box. Let's see what it gives us. And every time you uncheck and you check again, it gives you a different one. So if you're not happy with what you're you're seeing, just go ahead and uncheck and recheck. Um, and that. But just keep in mind that this is every time you do that, it's like credits, right? So he gave me a little product description. And um, that is all based on the descriptions that I had over here. Okay. Uh, it says like the, the soothing blue and white colors of the set will instantly transport you to the ocean. So you've... Since this is uh, AI, you might have to fix a little typo here and there, okay? Blah, blah, blah is designed for this. Whether you're in a little need of self-care or gift for a friend, blah, blah, blah. So it gave, it used my product information, right, to generate this. And why should you buy it? So this is basically where you're going to try and convince your target audience why this is for them. So this is says that our product provides a luxury and refreshing bath experience that is specially designed to meet the needs of busy individuals, right? And our best products are ethically, ethically, oh my gosh, sourced and environmentally friendly so you can enjoy your bath knowing it's made with respect for the planet, right? Blah, blah, blah. Awesome benefits. You click here. This is this was created to give you some bullet points, um, which is really important when you're creating a product description. People just want to see like some quick bullet points of like what makes this special or important. And you go ahead. So that looks pretty good. And then call to action. And the call to action is where it's going to say, oh, if you need this, go ahead and shop now. So this is going to have some action words uh, where it, it prompts your, your, your audience, your buyers to go ahead and buy that. So this one says experience the relaxing and rejuvenating benefits. And again, it's using all the benefits in here and... Uh, bringing a calming atmosphere to your bathroom will treat your skin to the softness, blah, blah, blah. So you see how good this is? This is like using a lot of words, but it's describing, it's it's the, um, it's the using the feelings, it's using the, the, the sensor, the sensory, right? It's using, it's making the person feel like they are already using it, right? Enjoy the relaxing and rejuvenating benefits of the ocean breeze bath set. So, this is like, right, it's almost bringing me to my bath time, right? And I can see myself relaxing and rejuvenating already. So, and this is a suggested title. You can go ahead and Ocean Breeze by Set, blah, blah, blah. And so this is what you can use. And it's going to target a few of your um, of your keywords also. So relaxation, bath set, self-care, right? So this should be... Um, spa-like experience see how many different words it's targeting it's amazing and then once you're done you come to the description here just to make sure that you know it's all this is just for a quick, quick glance to make sure there's no errors or anything and this will pull also all your information i'm gonna this is hard to see uh in google sheets so I made it so it can um, you can edit in Google Docs, right, before you go ahead and post. So just click over here. It's going to run a script, and it's all, and it's going to say your product description will open, or just say, will open in Google Docs. So then you just go ahead, you can close this, and then it opens already your Google Docs where you can actual, actually go and edit. Your information, it'll say my product description, but you can go ahead and change this to be the name of your product. Uh, so you can just, you know, edit. And this is going to be the title. So if you go back, 
my internet's really slow. If you go back here, this is the suggested tile. It's going to be popping up in the first thing over here. And then it's going to say rejuvenate, blah, blah, blah. Immerse yourself. So everything in here and you can edit. Where's the thing that had the typo? Oh, here. And this you will see. You will see where it's uh, see to the ocean. It's already giving a suggestion so you can fix it so you don't have typos on your uh, product description page. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then here, and this is the call to action, and you can change this, and you can put either at the bottom if you're going to use this information or if you're not going to use, because this is a lot of information. Uh, the keywords, you can remove it. If you don't need if you don't use it uh, and you know whatever you think it's not um, so how to use this should be here where to use it I mean in the bathroom I'm not gonna leave this here because you know they can use wherever they want right um, when to use it yeah this is not see what what is required for water soap or gel. <laughs> so these are things that um, you just want to make sure you just go through it, you know, whatever you want to keep, whatever you want to take it out. And this is up to you. And once you're done, just copy and paste it to your listing. The one thing, don't forget, once you are done, okay, I'm satisfied. I like this. Uh, you just go ahead and uncheck all the boxes. So it stops from um, recompensing. So it's when you change something in the spreadsheet, it will reload. Every time it reloads, is a credit that runs, right? So just uncheck the boxes so you're not spending a lot of credits for nothing. Okay, and that is it. Uh, I'm gonna leave this to you, but let me know if you have any question, and um, I'll answer it for you. My inbox is always open, so let me know if you liked it. Thank you.